Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Pete Man Reviews. Today we are looking at the Toy World uh, robot, Iron Dreg. Um, Iron Dreg is the Toy World name for slag. Um, a particularly good pun I have to say because when you are smelting iron you'll end up with a load of dregs from the impurities with the coal. Those dregs are known as slag. A very nice little pun on the name, I have to say. Totally unexpected and, you know, someone obviously somewhere has got a bit of a sense of humour about these. So unusually we're going to start with um, Iron Dreg or Slag in the box because um, I particularly like the effort that Toy World have gone into making this. First off, pull up the instruction sheet. Uh, as you can see you get a little sticker with, um, with a picture of Slag on there. You get various instructions quite nicely done uh, and within... You also get a little card on there as well, I'll just take the card out. So you get a nice little card with various stats as well on there. Um, meaningless to me as I don't speak Chinese. Um, I assume it's Chinese, it could be Japanese, but I think Toy World are a Chinese company, so never mind. Uh, but they'll be the usual ones used to get in the text base. Instructions itself, fairly well laid out, um, fairly clear as to what you should be doing, so hopefully this will be an easy transformation. Uh, in terms of the box itself, uh, it's got some nice artwork on the front and then a picture of the toy on the side. More pictures of the toy in various modes there and then some nice artwork on the side too. You open it up, so to open it up you've got a little bit like that. You then get a big polystyrene box with Toy World imprinted in it. You pull that out, very tight fit because inside it you then have, you'll find your transformer or your robot slag with associated weapon you get a spare whatever this is couldn't tell you and the actual robot itself let's pull it out okay so the first thing you notice with toy world's slag is the bling look isn't it lovely you've got chrome gold chrome you've got silver chrome you know liberally encased around the Dinobot uh, and it just looks absolutely fantastic. If we if we try and get some light glinting off it, um, it really does look spectacular. That's one of the main reasons I wanted these guys. Um, they are combiners, which we'll do at the very end. I'm not going to show them in combiner mode now, but actually it's just how fantastic they look. I mean, I know the original Dinobots had a bit of bling on them as well, but Toy World have really gone to scale with this. They've really made you know, beautifully bling on the on the horns, all of them. Different. In fact, they've got different gold and silver blings as well. It works so well on this toy. Um, very, very impressive. In terms of articulation, um, you can open and close Slag's mouth. Um, you've got the legs. Obviously, it's not meant to do that, but you can. The legs do move around as well. Um, Realistic, I guess. I mean, let's face it, we've only really got Jurassic um, Park to see in terms of how Dinobots or how dinosaurs move. But yeah, it's all right. It, it works for me. In fact, you can move him around. Probably in posability mode, it's actually not that dissimilar from the G1 version by virtue of the fact that ultimately it's, it's a Triceratops. There's only so many poses it can make. Um, nevertheless, it's a particularly nice example. Um, it's got some good detail on it as well, so it's not just chromed, they've actually put some, some detail here too to give the impression of circuitry and various panels welded together, and that's continued through onto the, the unchromed parts of it as well, some nice colours there, and even on here you've got some nice little detail input, the, what do we call this, the rough for want of a better word, it's got some nice detail in there too, all told, it's a lovely toy, it better be, it costs enough, um, Third party toys, particularly flagship models like this, are not cheap. Um, it's built to be a uh, evoke a masterpiece style format, and you know what, I think it works. Let's transform him, shall we? So, you've basically got a robot that's going to end up like this, with obviously there's a lot more to go, but you've kind of got head, this end, you've got arms, you've got legs, and then you've got all the various, the dinosaur part that needs to go. What I'm going to just do to begin with, just move the arms out of the way like so, because what I want to do here is remove, basically all this part is going to go to the rear. So, as you can see the head's under there, so 
might not be able to see the heads under there. So this will flip down like so, uh, and that will flip up like so. Um, though actually, well, it will more flip up like that. So that's effectively the head done. Make sure you can actually see what I'm doing. But of course, we still need to move all this panelling out of the way too. Now I'm going to begin by flipping the leg down there. Just want to be able to basically these these huge parts here are going to become his his feet. So I'm just gently unhooking it from there so that you've got a bit of movement you can do because you see it just pops in there. Unhook these part here. Just take these bits out. These are weapons later, but we don't need them for the transformation. Move now we've done that. We can move these to the side. Move that to the side, and then the rest of the leg here will rotate like so. And once that's just on pop from there, rotate like so. Okay, obviously there's a long way to go, but that's a good starting point. The actual leg itself, so this part, will tuck nicely in here so it's out of the way. Uh, so you end up with the foot like that. So in order to do that, we need to, you can just see how this joint here works. It will, it will flip round. Uh like so. This is the final phase to complete that move we then just pop this like so and then the whole lot will now shift over. Remember that little move there to try and make it so you can see but basically this little movement here shift over. So what you've got, there we go, it's a nice flat base here with the main foot there and then a stabilizing foot there. Okay so do the same thing here now. Put this down like that Put the leg in part like that. It's going to be a lot easier now that you've, you've seen it and I've reminded myself what I need to do. Uh, this thing goes down like so. Or rather up like so. It can be a little bit of a pain sometimes to move them both up. Because as one goes up, the other one wants to come down. Then we move this around. That goes like that. Okay, so. And then make sure these are down like so. We now have done the lower half of our Dinobot. Um, of course, we've still got the top part to do, which is a lot easier. To begin with, these now flip out. You just need to, it's a bit tricky with the arms, you just need to try and move them up out of the way like so. This will flip out and round. Gets that nicely out of the way there. It does make me, I mean, they will go all the way back, back there, but in terms of his character, they're kind of a more that kind of kind of level. Hands are fairly standard for most figures now, be they third party or otherwise, and are located in in here. They're quite tricky to, to move out. There you go, you kind of just have to keep tweaking at them. So that's fairly standard now for third parties or for Hasbro. Uh, and Takara figures, they, they, it's a fairly universal adapted mode, I guess if it works, why change it? The waist does turn round as you can see there. Um, now, the, now that we've moved the arms up, you then just need to fold the joints in like that. All right, I've just moved the head up like that. There we go. Slag is transformed. Just make it so that he stands up straight now. He's always he's determined not to stand up straight. Never mind. Okay, so with the hands, um, you do have you don't have poseable fingers, but they can open and close, so you can slot a gun in like so. I don't know why that's not standing up straight. There we are. Uh, and as for these, well, I'm a bit unsure as to what they are. They kind of look a bit like axes, that kind of thing. Um, weird that he's given two, and you can join them together to make one axe, but he actually hasn't got enough hand room to hold them. So if he has one, like so, it's quite a good-looking weapon, where do you put the other one? Because if you attach it to, to here, it actually goes the other side of his hand, so... These, these have always puzzled me a little bit, um, and there doesn't seem to be an obvious place to attach them to the bow, but I suppose you could flip, 
you might be able to attach them there. Nope. So, just a bit weird. I mean, I, they will, of course, attach there, which is where they came from, but it just seems a bit of an odd, odd accessory. So, in terms of robot, well, he's got excellent manoeuvre posability, so that all moves up like so. You've got the arms there, the legs do all of that too. Love the detailing. I mean, look at the face. It's very, very good detailing on it. Gun's decent size too. It works, doesn't it? Works really well. Colour scheme looks good. Um, I'm a bit annoyed about this leg being a bit funny, but never mind. It just works really well. Very impressed with him. Um, the chrome works really well too. Obviously, there's less chrome on Dinobot, uh, rather on robot mode than there is in Dinobot mode, but you know, I just think it works so well. It looks like a proper, proper guy who means business. He's great height as well. You know, you compare him with someone like Titan's Return um, Scourge, Towers over Scourge, and actually with G1 Shockwave, who, as we've noted previously, is of the gen of masterpiece size. He scales very, very nicely with Shockwave. Um, you know, Shockwave being a bit bigger, but you'd expect that. But actually, he scales really, really well with the Masterpiece characters. Um, and just works really well. Um, overall, this is a brilliant release from Toy World. Um, pricey, yes, but you have to expect that from a Masterpiece-style um, third-party toy. I mean, heck, the Masterpiece-style Transformers are pricey as well. I love all the extra features. I love the presentation. The, the Chrome is particularly good on Dinobot mode. Um, the Robot mode is good as well. We will come to Combiner mode after we've done through the other Dinobots. Definitely weren't one to get hold of. So that is Iron Dreg, aka Slag, from Toy World. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave any comments below, and I will see you for the next review. Thank you. Goodbye.